And next up, we are going to bring Taro Koki on board to talk about what drives NFT value. And he's the co-founder and president of Kuruma NFT Inc. So Taro, hey. thank you for joining. Thank you. Thanks for the intro. All right, take us. You've got uh, 10 minutes. All right. Um, first of all, thank you, uh, everybody. Uh, thank you, World Crypto Economic Forum, for the invitation. Um, I am the founder of uh, Kuruma NFT. We're an automotive uh, NFT uh, brand. Um, and today I'm going to talk about what drives NFT value and how the automotive space is thinking about NFTs and how to utilize its potential. So there we go. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to be talking about um, there's a lot of interesting things happening in the automotive world today. Um, just to just throw a couple things out, uh, Mercedes AMG uh, launched an NFT with an artist, a uh, very successful uh, NFT artist called Mad Dog Jones during a Formula One Miami Grand Prix just a few weeks ago. Um, and lots of brands are getting into NFTs, um, even brands like Hot Wheels. You know, they've been famous for diecast toys, but they're even getting into NFTs. It's a new way for them to uh, engage with, an, uh, with a new audience. And uh, I'm going to get, get uh, right into it since we don't have that much time. So um, what drives NFT value, right? Let's think about it uh, like that. I mean, we think that the simple answer is that NFTs are a belief system, right? I think uh, someone on the previous uh, panel said it's uh, a promise, you know, it's a receipt. Um, but there's got to be trust in that. And so a good example is like money is a belief system, right? Like just, just like crypto. Uh, the only reason why we can go to a dealership and buy a car is because both the buyer and the seller believes that the money has value. So NFTs are exactly the same. You know, uh, if enough people believe in a picture of an ape or a car, in our case, has value, um, you don't really need utility. Just like, you know, Picasso or even a dollar bill has no utility. A dollar bill, you can burn it and maybe it's warm for a couple seconds, but it's it's a belief system, right? Picassos are valuable because everyone in the world knows that they're valuable. And that's why people pay hundreds and thousands of dollars and millions of dollars for, you know, uh, for art. And that's exactly the reason why people believe an NFT has value the same. Um, here's where it becomes interesting. So an NFT is a digital asset that's been certified and authenticated on the blockchain. And that itself does not give it value, right? I mean, we've all Everybody listening and watching have all probably heard, hey, why don't I just take a screenshot and it's the same? Well, it is, right? Actually, it's like visually, it, it is the same. Um, how about utilities, right? If it has real life utility, you, can you exchange it for something maybe? You know, you get an invitation to a, a club or you get, you know, free stuff. Okay, yeah, maybe. The answer is, it's a combination of these things, uh, but the most important thing is that people have to believe in its value, right? It could be one person, uh, if it's a one of one you're selling, you only need one person to believe in the value of it. And if it's 10,000, if it's a collection of 10,000 NFTs, you need a minimum of 10,000 people that believe in the value, right? So at Kuruma NFT, oh, sorry, um, we believe that NFTs are a way to own the possibilities of a future together with a community that shares a common passion for cars in, in that case. And it's a very important point, so I'm going to repeat it. We believe that NFTs are a way to own the possibilities of a future together with a community that share a common passion, in our case, for cars. And then the question here is then, then how do you share that value right how do you share that that passion and these are the things that we learned in the past six months since we've been uh, around so the important thing is that do you trust the source like who, who are these guys right um in our case uh we feel like you know we we should be out there and we shouldn't uh be behind um you know avatars or uh, you know handle names uh, I used to run a automotive uh, YouTube network called GT Channel for 15 years. Uh, my co-founder, uh, Sam Mitani, he was international editor for Road and Track. 
Um, and the guy on the right, you might recognize him. He's uh, Sung Kang, who's uh, he plays Han in Fast and the Furious. I mean, he's not just an actor, but he's also an avid, avid car collector and car builder. Um, but having him, someone like him, not only gives us credibility, but he's an artist that is representing the artist at the table when we're making decisions. And that is pretty important when you think about a brand that wants to protect artists and wants to protect the community at the same time, right? I, I, we feel that that's super important. Um, the other guys on the team are also all from the automotive space. Uh, our social media guy, uh, Brandon, was at Motor Trend, community manager from uh, American Honda. Uh, our IP advisor is from uh, American Honda and creative director, you know, still does a lot of production. And we're, we're all embedded in the automotive world and that gives us credi credibility. So we like to say, hey, this is us. Uh, and it's, it's very important for everybody that I, we believe to say, hey, this is us, this is who we are. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Um, so, the source is very important, so it's important to look into these things. Like when you're, you know, when you have interest in a in a NFT project, I think the first thing you got to do is you got to do your research and, and and figure out who these guys are. Um, the second thing that we learn is is the value proposition sound. I mean, what exactly are you offering, right? Um, is the art unique, right? Or do the NFT owners actually, you know, benefit from owning something? Um, in our case, uh, we the first uh, NFT that we launched was the thing called the Pit Pass. It's a utility token, and you get white uh, white list uh, access to all of the future uh, exclusive collaboration projects that we have scheduled um, down the line. And you also get invited to exclusive events, um, which we already had in April. Um, you also get a free uh, PFP. So we, we kind of did it backwards. We didn't start from the PFP. We, we uh, sorry about that. Um, we uh, um, did the utility token and you get a free uh, profile picture. And some of the um, unique ones that we've also done is this thing that we did with uh, Racer uh, Magazine. And it's, it's both, right? So do we trust the source? Yes, we trust Racer Magazine because they've been in publication for 30 years and they are a legitimate magazine that's been around, right? And they, they have a digital version, obviously. Of course, and everyone who follows motorsports in, in North America and, and a lot of fans in the world know Racer.com and Racer Magazine. So what, what we did was we took their cover illustration art and we also attached it with a 24 by 30 frame canvas print. So you not only get the NFT, but you get a, you know, so the NFT is your certificate of authenticity, but it comes with a nice, you know, frame canvas print. You also get things like a racer, you know, annual subscription, if you live in North America, things like that. Um, we also uh, teamed up with, uh, you know, uh, known artists that uh, that have been in the industry for a long time. John Sabal does uh, a lot of um, renderings for car manufacturers and aftermarket brands. And if you've ever been to the SEMA show, which is the largest aftermarket show in the U.S., you've seen him, you know, signing autographs. And he also um, does a lot of uh, work for. Uh, Marvel and uh, all of the, uh, the the comic book uh, brands as well. And here's another one that we're doing. We're just launching that one. Um, and then the third thing we believe that was is most important is the uh, communication with your community. Um, and you know the community is everything, right? Uh, you have to be transparent about your project and the, your team and your company. And we like to say that in web three there are no customers just community right because the community is the backbone of your nft project or your nft brand and building that vibrant community is is absolutely critical and 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 top priority um and so this is where i think uh some of the automotive brands that have kind of dabbled in it because nfts are the the, the you know the new thing to do um haven't been too successful at it. There, there have been brands that have done a great job and they're 
some brands that haven't done a great job. Um, for example, um, you know, you might have you know millions of of, of followers uh, as an automotive brand on Instagram, for example, but you know just something coming out of nowhere, you know, buy my NFT is just not a good idea because uh, they're there to follow, you know, that influencer or a brand for a reason. And it's not because they're interested in NFTs. And that's sort of uh, where we need to switch our, uh, our, our way of thinking a little bit because um, Web3 audience uh, know that if you follow and if you believe in the project, um, they are stakeholders of the brand, not just followers in a in a in a um, in a passive fashion. Um, so, without guidance and and even um, a reason to follow or mint that NFT, um, would just be a, a, a recipe for for failure. Um, you know, you you just can't drop that <laughs> on people's laps just because you have uh, a big audience. Um, you really have to, um, you know, it's just like throwing cold cold water on someone. It, it it just won't work because you have to start from the very, very beginning. You have to start from guiding why you're doing this. Uh, what is the reason behind it? What is the objective? Um, and if they already know who you are and trust you as a brand or an influencer, uh, then you've already, you know, um, you've already passed the first step. So if you do want to get into NFTs as a car brand or some, or as an automotive uh, brand, um, even an aftermarket brand or, or car care product or whatever, um, you have to approach it. Uh, you have to be careful about how you approach it, but it, it it's very important to, to, uh, to be transparent about the reasoning of why you're doing it um, and the objective of why you're doing it. Um, I'm going to, um, just explain a couple of, uh, like, uh, examples that, 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 uh, that are out there in the automotive world in terms of, uh, NFTs. Um, and then, um, maybe if anyone has any questions, I'll be happy to answer questions. Actually, um, uh, Taro, yeah. can, if we, uh, we're running a little short on time, if you can maybe, oh, okay. give us maybe one example. Um, sure. We sure. got about okay. maybe a minute, and uh, and then we're gonna have to sign off. You can, and then you All can right. take it to the chat room. Okay. Awesome. Um, so, Amer yeah, American Honda um, um, gave out uh, or or had an opportunity to give out NFTs to uh, 500 of their you know uh, new customers for the Acura Integra, for example. I mean, that's a way to incentivize uh, the the person who's who's about to to buy. An, a, a vehicle, and there are a lot of creative ways uh, people are coming up with uh, ways to um, use NFTs in their marketing campaigns. And uh, you know, that's BMW has, has done it, and, and mentioned Mercedes has done it before. Um, but uh, it's it's just the beginning, and uh, we're we're just excited about uh, working with all these brands and artists uh, in, in this new space. Awesome. All right, so really appreciate. It. How do so? How do people uh, find out more about what you're up to? Follow what you're doing. Um, yeah, best way is to follow us on on Twitter at uh, Kuruma Underbar NFT. I th think I kind of messed up the the link there, but uh, yeah, down there on Twitter, please follow us uh, to find out more about us. Um, we're at at Twitter, uh, uh, Twitter.com Underbar um, NFT. Awesome. So, Thank you. Really yeah, appreciate you spending time with us this afternoon. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. Thank you for All having right. me.